National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences is one of 27 institutes that are part of the National Institutes of Health. The focus of our institute is on how exposures to environmental pollutants affects human health. We have a special mandate from Congress to study the effects of hazardous chemicals and other exposures that come from Superfund. The worker training program is really our number one public health program. We were started under the Superfund in 1986 and our mission has been to train workers who are in hazardous conditions to be safe and healthy in their jobs and we fund organizations across the country to develop training programs to make sure that folks are safe in doing the most hazardous jobs in the nation. Over the years that we've been involved has stretched from the World Trade Center where folks rushed in to rescue individuals, Katrina, uh, most recently the Gulf oil spill. This is not only a worker protection issue, but it's a public health issue. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, also called ARRA, was intended to um, stimulate the economy and develop new jobs. We were fortunate to be able to distribute about $190 million as a result of the Recovery Act. And the purpose of that, those funds was to stimulate the biomedical and public health enterprises with a focus on creating new jobs or retaining jobs that might have been lost if the stimulus was not available. The worker training program funds uh, community colleges, unions, universities, uh, local community organizations to be able to do training for healthcare workers, folks who work in hazardous waste cleanup, firefighters, police, emergency responders, and a broad swath of the economy where individuals are uh, put in harm's way. The Worker Education and Training Program received $6.7 million in stimulus funds to support the training program. With the investment in the program from the stimulus funds, over 12,000 people were trained in 27 states across the country. The grantees in the Worker Training Program were able to apply for funds to develop new safety and health curricula around green jobs and to support new trainers and also to bring in students, especially through the Minority Training Program. With the ARA funds that we received through our consortium, we've been able to train over 600 workers, workers who work in a range of industries, those who wash our cars every day, those who build and then clean our homes, our office buildings, the schools that we send our children to, and those who sort the products that we recycle every day. OAI Inc. is a not-for-profit organization that offers workforce development and training for primarily underserved, disadvantaged, unemployed and underemployed individuals who live in environmental justice communities, usually in urban settings. The recent influx of the ARA monies through NIEHS has really allowed us to expand programs that have existed under the Hazardous Waste Training Program for years. So whether it's the minority outreach program that we have or the minority worker training program, really expands uh, in the area of green weatherization, retrofitting homes. We are the not-for-profit of the National Building and Construction Trades Department. We provide research and occupational health and safety training for workers of the 11 building and construction trades unions as well as we offer the Minority Worker Training Program to underrepresented minorities from urban centers across America to provide them with skills to enter into apprenticeship programs and or environmental remediation industry jobs. Our aim is to provide training that will allow young men and women who live in contaminated areas for the most part work in that field to make money while at the same time cleaning up their own neighborhoods or neighborhoods just like theirs in other parts of the country. NIEHS programs are for occupational health and safety. It's about working safety. It's not just about working in the field. And to the extent that we were able to show them that we can teach them how to work safely and they can still make a decent wage and develop a trade for life is what sold it. At the same time, you're giving something back to your community by helping to clean it up. The success of our program is that we've had workers that have come through our training program that were unemployed who are now employed. I think it's about 57 people who've come through our training program have been employed because of a direct result of the training from NIEHS.
the goal was to train workers that could actually rehabilitate houses within their own community. But not only do you get workers getting employed, which allows them to get benefits, allows them to buy a car, and actually get them paying into the system, and it gets them building up their community. We're at the Hope Community Outreach Center here in Camden, New Jersey. The University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey School of Public Health provided training here for workers in asbestos, lead, hazardous waste, and OSHA construction. The UMDNJ School of Public Health was funded with stimulus money from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences Worker Education and Training Program. The goal of the program is to provide training to unemployed individuals who will go out and get jobs. And what we're doing is working with the individuals to get them employment. The stimulus funding has allowed 49 individuals, both men and female, to come through our program since we started in January 2010. For us, that's a big number. Uh, this is our first time doing this. It's more than just the class itself. Right. It's, telling, it's teaching you self-worth. And that's the big thing, self-worth. Yes, you know, we've walked out here with these certificates. We felt so something. Good. We felt like yeah. we can be a part of something. Right. It's not a handout. We took these classes. We take notes. We study. We learn. We improve ourselves. You know, we improving ourselves through the Hope Community Center. I have an opportunity at a career now. I don't have to settle for that minimum wage job. Mm -hmm. The program does training primarily. Our students are here from the New York City Housing Authority, this particular project and we're training them to go back into NYCHA, they call it, New York City Housing Authority, and to get good paying jobs. After they come out of here, they're gonna be working, earning a full-time living. Right now, they're in here studying and learning, getting certification, and then the ancillary benefit is that we're doing something good for the community. We're turning a jail into an office system that will take people and keep them out of jail put them into responsible situations. Through this kind of federal, state, and local collaboration, by investing in people and in training, we're preparing not only for an economic recovery, but for creating an economy that is sustainable and assures safe jobs for workers.